Hey everybody, welcome to Sunday School and Sunday Space Online. I hope that your week has been a great one. You know, as I was thinking about uh, today and about um, our lesson today, I was just thinking about you and thinking about your family and just letting you know that all the staff at the church, we miss you, we're thinking about you, we're praying for you, and we cannot wait to see everybody together. We're gonna have to do a big party. Um, so anyway, just letting you know, you are missed. Um, I have received a few texts lately of, of new additions to the family of the four-legged variety, um, some cute, cute puppies and animals. Um, and if you have an update, I would love to hear what you're doing. So send me a message, send me an email, and keep me in the loop because I miss you and would love to hear. Speaking of sending me stuff, I received some awesome videos from our Memory Verse Challenge last week. So before Amy kicks us off with worship, let's check them out. Be strong and courageous for the Lord your God will be with you. Do you know what I miss? Verse 31 verse 6. Be strong and courageous for the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Be strong and courageous for the Lord your God goes with you. Be strong and courageous for the Lord your God goes with you. Deuter Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. The world will see you live in me. Shine from the inside out. That the world will see you live in me. You know me and you love me. You feel me. So send me to shine from the inside out. That the world will see you live in me. in the Bible? That's right, 35. Can you remember Jesus' first one that was recorded? We done it last week? Right again, turning water into wine. This, one, this week's lesson is superb. Jesus and the disciples, they've been away all day. They've been up doing the famous Sermon on the Mount story. It is absolutely brilliant. Google it, read it in your Bible, you will really enjoy it. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water, 
Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. <sighs> and as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence! Be still! Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you come back next week for the third part. See you soon. Bye. Well guys, it was great to be learning this week about uh, Jesus calming the storm. And I just think that was incredible. The disciples were getting so worked up. Jesus was just sleeping away below deck. And then comes up and says, well, what's the problem? What he is also worried about. And he calms it. I just think that's amazing. And in our lives, we're going to come up against storms. We're going to come up against challenges. But God, Jesus, is there with us uh, to calm these storms. So let's go back to our, our memory verse, guys, which tells us this, uh, this truth, uh, that God can do all things. Let's see if we can remember the verse from last week. With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. And that's from Matthew 19, verse 26. Let's do that again, and I'll show you if you really got the hang of it by now. With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So again, just remember that throughout this week as we go into the, all the situations we face, all the challenges we face, there's things we can't do. God's there with us and he can help us uh, to achieve things we couldn't do by ourselves. Have a great week, guys. Before we go today, um, I'd like you to pray. If you don't mind or listen to my prayer, so let us pray. Jesus, thank you that you celebrate with us. Thank you for showing us who you are in the miracles you showed the world. Help us to believe in the great things you can do. Amen. Guys, thank you so much. See you again soon. Bye. Thank you everybody for joining with us today. You know, this story of Jesus' miracle of calming the storm actually really resonates with me. That's because one time I was stuck in a storm uh, in a boat and uh, I actually brought you a picture. This is a picture of my friend Mary and that's me right there. And um, we were um, in Panama and we were going from island to island. We had teens of teenagers that were sharing the good news of Jesus Christ to uh, the locals that lived in these remote islands. And so part of my job was to go and check in on them and make sure they were okay. And so Mary came with me this day. And, and so it was Mary and the, the boat captain and myself. And, and so we went, and it, this is a small boat, like really small boat. So we were there, we were going, and all of a sudden these dark clouds started to roll in. And then all of a sudden the rain started and it, it was like sheets of rain. I mean, everything was completely soaked. Our luggage was soaked. We were soaked. Everything was soaked. You could barely see. Like that's just how bad the rain was. And then all of a sudden the lightning all around us. And so um, I remember, to be honest, I tried to get a little bit smaller so that uh, lightning wouldn't get me. But, um, you know, the only thing that you can do in those situations is just pray. And so I remember it was about an hour journey to this remote island and, and I just prayed and prayed. I, I don't know if I've ever prayed harder in my life. 
and just thinking about the story, reflecting on the power of Jesus, the Son of God that, that can command the wind and the rain. And that's who we pray to. And so, you know, we may not be in a boat in the middle of a storm, but there's plenty of life storms that we go through. And so regardless of what you're going through, can I encourage you to pray to God and encourage you to pray to the Son of God that, that even the wind and the rain listen to. I hope that you have a tremendous week and I will see you next week.